Ah, that's gonna fall over. Okay. What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new and exciting episode of Today We Glitch. And today, we're glitching a wonderful game called Tony Hawk's Underground. It's a classic game. I actually let's played this game. It was my first ever video on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't checked that out, you probably shouldn't check it out because it's it's bad and old. So don't do that. Today, we have three glitches to do. In the last couple episodes, we completed every single glitch. Hopefully we can do that in this episode. And uh, let's figure out what the glitches are. And the first glitch... <laughs> and the first glitch... Shit. And the first glitch is at a wonderful level called Slam City Jam. Now this glitch requires us to get to a certain part of the audience and we can run across the railings and we can actually jump outside of the map and go outside that there's actually shit rendered out there. So what we basically have to do is we gotta jump up on this specific part of a railing in section C and we have to run across the arena and then jump through this specific part in the roof and we'll be outside. So without further ado, let's go into the gameplay. Here we go. Oh, fucking Cocksucker, you are kidding me. What? I don't have a fucking save state on this shit? Oh my god, dude. Do you know how fucking ridiculous that is? Because you wanna know what the worst part of this is? Is I have to actually beat the game right now to do this glitch. Because I don't- there's no cheat to unlock all levels in Tony Hawk's Underground. So I'm legitimately gonna have to play the game right now to beat it. Oh my god. Fucking God, dude. All right. All right. I will meet you back in like three hours when I beat this game. Oh my God, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the Slam City Jam. I just recorded. I basically almost beat the game in an hour and 13 minutes just so I could do the first glitch. So, let me get into the fucking free world so we can do this first glitch. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, after a long, frustrating time realizing that I had to unlock the level to do the first glitch, we're finally here. But I will say, it it only took me... Let, let me show you this. Oh, oh, wrong fucking thing here. It took me an hour and 13 minutes, okay, to get through more than half the game. You see that at the bottom of the screen? Dude, I flew through this game. Holy fuck, I should speed run this game. I wonder what the world record is. Future Joe will tell you what the world record of Tony Hawk's Underground would be right now. Alright, so for this first glitch, we gotta get off our board here. Okay, now if, if- can I look around here? So, if anybody sees- see that van sign? Hold on, this is a lot harder than I thought. That van sign right there. We have to jump underneath- Okay, I'm gonna put an arrow. This is gonna make it a lot easier. We gotta jump through right there in order to get outside. Okay, because right there- is it's not solid so we can jump right through it but in order to get there we have to find section C okay which hold on here I think is right here is this section C this is section C okay so what the glitch says is we gotta jump up on these bars okay and run up here oh okay cool oh my god look at these people they're not even they're half people. They're not rendered back there. Holy fuck. Okay, so no normally this would kick you out, right? Normally this kicks you out. Holy fuck, these aren't even people. Holy shit, look at that. They don't even move. That is so creepy. Look, I am joining in on the fun. This is gonna be the fucking thumbnail right here. Alright, so normally we would get kicked out right here, but there's a glitch so we can go through we can go through this without getting kicked out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run all the way over to the part that we have to get to now I forgot to mention that we have to uh, run up these stairs and get up here and from here we just run all the way to the van symbol and if oh wait we're, we're reaching oh fuck okay wait I think I have to get up on, on the top level hold on let me let me reset here we have to be very careful 
not to dude those aren't even those aren't even people though that is like they're blobs I don't even know what they're blobs of okay hold on and we're gonna just run around here okay and right where that van symbol is okay we're gonna jump in right here now according to the glitch this is not gonna be solid and we're gonna be able to just fall right through and walk outside so here we go oh my god that worked holy fuck okay so that's where we're normally supposed to be where that guy is so I don't think we're supposed to be out this far so let's run out oh my god dude dude this is sick why are there holes there oh no I'm blocked no please those aren't even cars no please let me get over there okay cool oh it seems like they're just like random walls because that's where the cars drive by yeah, and there's there's all these holes in the wall. I think that's because at a distance when you're looking at it, you can't tell that they're holy, okay? And I think that's to save memory. I'm not sure. Dude, we can even go in the hotel lobby. Holy fuck, what a great way to start off the episode. We fucking did it. We are successful, ladies and gentlemen. What happens if we jump out here? Nothing. Okay. Awesome. Well, there's not much to do out here. We can skate. Oop, we don't want to go in there just yet. See, there, dude, there's the whole level right there. I know, the cat's meowing, that's crazy. Alright, so what happens if we just, like, walk in? If we just walk in like normal. Okay, now we're here. Can we go back out? No, we cannot. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, and after a long road of basically beating the game so I can do the first glitch, there it is! We, the first glitch was successful, so back to the face cam! <sighs> Well, that was a fucking trip, because you know what we had to do to get to that glitch, ladies and gentlemen? We had to beat the fucking game. We didn't have to beat the game fully, but I had to beat the game. I had to beat like 85% of the game just to even get to the level to even do the glitch. And like four people are going to watch this video. God damn it. But, we got to Slam City. And we completed the glitch. And the glitch is actually pretty interesting because we got places where we weren't supposed to go, which is pretty cool. Now, we got glitch number two, which is probably the second coolest glitch in this video. Basically, what we have to do is we have to go to the level Tampa. And we have to take the police car that we can drive. And we have to drive it into an alligator. And then once we drive the car into the alligator and respawn, then we have to immediately turn and drive into the water. And the glitch states that if we drive into the water after being eaten by the alligator, at least that's what the video shows, we can drive on the water. So we can be like... Mr. Officer Jesus Christ, Mr. Jesus Christ Officer, let's, let's just go, I, I'm, I've ran out of fucking titles. So, the next glitch, we gotta go to San Diego, okay? Now, this glitch, in the video that I saw this glitch at, the man did not say a single word. It was basically a fucking camcorder that was... Oh, wait. No, we gotta go to Tampa. Fuck. I, what, I'm an idiot. What the fuck am I doing? Alright, so this man in the video, he basically just had a camcorder in front of a TV and was just recording the TV. So it was super, like... It was, it was just super, like, non-reliable of a glitch video. And basically what it says is we have to steal this cop car. Okay, let me just show you. Let me show you. We gotta steal this cop car, and in the video, I don't know if the kid meant to do this or not, or maybe it was an accident, but he drove the car through this alligator, right? And then he drove up here, and drove the car down here into the water, and landed in the water, and he was able to drive on the water. Now, the reason why I'm recording this game on GameCube is because A, my PlayStation copy was all fucked up, and B, the video was the kid doing it on GameCube. And everyone in the comments, this video was uploaded in like 2008, and everyone was like, dude, why the fuck are you playing it on GameCube? It's on PlayStation 2. And it, it's, it was funny. But then I, I thought to myself, I don't really want to switch from PlayStation to GameCube halfway through the video, so that's what we're doing. All right, let's drive through the alligator, like the dude did, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're just gonna go down here, just like he did in the video, and, uh... 
it didn't work. I'm shocked, actually. I'm kind of shocked that that didn't work. All right, let's try it again. Hold on. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that didn't work. I really thought that that would work. Because in the video, the kid goes up here, and then he drives through the uh, alligator, or crocodile, whatever the fuck it is. Okay. If I could get up here, that would be splendid. All right, so he drives through the alligator, crocodile, gets eaten. Okay, then he goes over here, and then goes through this thing, right? And then he just drives on the water. Huh. Not working. Let me check the video here real quick. Alright, so I'm basically doing everything right, but I think what's happening is his angle when he jumps onto the water was a little bit crooked and mine's more or less like really straight on. So what I'm gonna do is, hold on, let me go get eaten by the crocodile. Alright, get eaten by that. Go up here. He kind of goes at it at an angle like this. Oh, holy shit, we did it, dude! <laughs> oh my god, dude! I don't know if it has anything to do with the crocodile or if it has everything to do with the, the angle, but we're driving on water, ladies and gentlemen. We are driving on water. Wonderful. Look at that, glitch successful. All right, so now that we're Jesus Christ right now, driving on the water, I wonder if if this works without the, like, does this, can I do this without, oh my god, I'm under the boat. Oh, oh my god, dude, I can, what's happening? What the fuck is happening? Okay, okay, so I spawned back in. Now, I wonder if I can do this without getting bit by the crocodile. Like, does the crocodile have to do anything with the glitch, right? You know what I mean? That's what I want to know. So what we're going to do is let me get back up there. Because that's my biggest question is, am I driving on water because of something to do with the crocodile? All right. All right. Yep, dude, I don't know if you can do it without getting bit by the crocodile. He kicked like a mule and he bit like a crocodile. All right, let's give it one last try. Okay, we're going to go at it at an angle. Oh, kind of stuck, kind of stuck. Yep, dude, you. I think you have to get bit by the crocodile for in order for this glitch to work. But anyways, it doesn't matter because the glitch was successful. Awesome, fantastic. Let's go back to Physical Joe. See, the bright side, ladies and gentlemen, is even though we had to beat the game to unlock these levels to do these glitches, and this video's been super stressful, we completed two glitches out of three so far, and now we're on to the third one, because the second glitch, there's not really much to talk about. We did the glitch, we drove on the water, and, and that was it. You know, congratulations, here's a cookie. That it actually flew, holy shit. All right, well, the third glitch is actually probably the most boring, but I think it has the highest potential because all we have to do is put on the moon gravity glitch, and all we have to do is just go to a building and just double jump, and the moon gravity glitch basically allows us to just double jump after double jump, and we can go as high as we want. So let's let's just go. Let's Let's just rock and roll. Let's go jump. So for the next cheat, we need moon gravity. So let's go to some cheats. Uh, how do we enter a fucking cheat? There we go, cheat codes. And let's enter ye old cheat code. Get it up, all right, here we go. Beautiful, it worked. All right, let's go to a level with uh, a lot of high buildings. All right, so for this one, uh, it's very simple. Just use moon gravity, get out of bounds because you can double jump. So let's go to Manhattan because that I think it's the tallest buildings in the game. All right, we're in Manhattan. First thing we got to do is activate moon gravity. Okay. Ah, yes. All right, that blue building is pretty sure that's like one of the highest ones in the building. So without further ado, all it says we have to do is just double jump with moon gravity. Okay, hold on. Let's get up here. <clears throat> Holy shit, it works, dude. You're kidding me. You can just do this. Wait. What? What? You're not allowed to get up there? Oh, this is the metro center. The real metro center is not that big. Fuck. 
Alright, let's try this building right here. I don't want to get kicked out, man, at every fucking building I try. That's no fun. Oh, dude, beautiful. Can you get up here normally? I'm like double, I'm like really fucking hitting circle here. Or A, whatever the fuck it is. Who is this guy? Alright, let's try this building. This building looks pretty, pretty big. I mean, this is a pretty short glitch. I mean, it's already fucking confirmed. I already did it. Your boy just wants to get out of bounds. But I don't know if, uh, if the game will let us get out of bounds. I have no idea how high we are in the air. I'm kind of afraid to look. Oh my god, we are high as fuck. Yeah, look, we're already higher than what we were supposed to be. I'm, I'm glitching in the fucking, uh, building. My A button is squeaky. Can you hear that? It's really annoying, so I'm, I'm very sorry that you hear that. Uh, we're getting to very unrendered territory here. Hopefully we can fall out of bounds. That's basically the, uh, the point, I guess, of this glitch. So, let's see if this works. Dude, how tall is this building, dude? Holy shit. Oh, we've reached, we've reached the top. We have reached the top. Wow. Look at that. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Holy shit, dude. I can see all the way over there, dude. That's wild. And we're falling. Well, we can't really get out of bounce, per se, but we can get where we're not supposed to go, which are the best glitches. Let's try up here. I just want to, like, see unrendered tops of buildings. There's one right there. Yep, there we go. And there we go. Well, that's about that glitch, really. I mean, there's not really much more to it. Uh, because it's a very simple glitch. It's not really meant to do anything. I don't think it's it's useful in any way in terms of, like, speedrunning or anything. Besides getting up to, like... Uh, like, in Hawaii, you have to get up on the rooftop for a glitch. That's really the only reason I can see this being useful. Oh! The skybox! 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 Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! I'm doing the jump ropes! Oh my god! Oh god! Look, I'm in the, I'm in the sky! I am Superman! I am Superman! Holy fuck! Look at those buildings! They're just floating! Wow, alright, let's fall and see what happens. Are we out of bounds? We are in the building. I'm in the building. I can just walk out. Okay, beautiful! Well! That's going to conclude the third and final glitch, so let's go back to Joe and see what he has to say. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that has been a another successful Today We Glitch episode in the books. We completed all three glitches. These glitches were actually super easy to do. The only fucking frustrating part was I had to play through the entire game before I could even start recording, which I've never had to do before, but I... Probably gonna have to do that many a times in the future, but even then we didn't even record for that long It was under two hours in recording, so that's not bad I don't know how long this video is, but I, I should start fucking speed running that game because that would be crazy As always ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching everybody. I greatly appreciate it. Keep your eye out for the next video See you later